Hey, uh, babe, can I get your opinion on something? Which outfit should I wear on our date tonight? I think this one is simple in style, but this one is more... <sighs> Would you put that phone down already? You're not even dressed yet. Thank you. Now, as I was saying, which outfit do you like better? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I think this one looks really nice, but depending on what you're going to wear, I don't want to be overdressed. All right, I'll go change. Well, what do you... <sighs> Babe. Mm. Uh, what's with you? I've never seen you this glued to your phone before. Come on, we're going to be late. No, you're leaving your phone here. Get dressed so we can be there on time. Otherwise, our reservation will be given away. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks again for reserving this table for me, hun. I know it's a little bit more expensive than we're used to, so I really appreciate the gesture. Hun? Hello? Were you paying attention to me at all? I said thank you for taking me here. I appreciate that even though it's expensive, you took a little out of your personal paycheck to make me happy. What were you even staring at? The wall can't be that interesting. Be honest with me. What's going on right now? No, don't try to deny it. You've had your nose in your phone all day, which, whatever, it's the weekend and you have every right to relax however you want to. But you were so sucked into it that you didn't even bother to put it down while we were getting ready for our date. And now that we're actually here, you keep staring off into space and ignoring me? It's honestly making me worried. I mean, I don't want to sound like an old boomer, but what's so important about your phone that you can't have a conversation with me? Babe, I don't like being upset with you. I really hate to get mad, but I am right now. You said yourself that this was going to be a night for us, yet you're barely paying attention to me. Please, I want to understand. What's going on? Wait, you were reading the news all day? What was the story about? Uh-huh. Really? Well, that's awful. Hold on. You said that you did that this morning, but what about the rest of the day? Surely it didn't take you 12 hours to go through one article. So, comments, forums, and social media, huh? What kinds? Hey, hey, calm down, babe. It's okay. Breathe. Breathe, it's okay. Babe, you're starting to spiral. What you were doing today, it's not okay. I'm not talking about that. Although it did hurt when you were ignoring me, but my main point is you've been doom scrolling all day. That's not healthy. No, it is a big deal. Look at you. You're distracted, overwhelmed, and freaking out even though you're away from your phone. Babe, that's what they want. They love posting rage bait because it gets them more clicks. The internet is flooded with that stuff. People are more likely to share and comment on something that makes them angry or scared than something that makes them happy. It all plays off our natural negativity bias. I know what happened is bad. I'm not saying that it isn't. But you can acknowledge that something is bad without letting it consume you. Honey, you're not fine. Doom scrolling isn't good for you. Just look at yourself. You can't even focus on our date because you're so preoccupied with what you've been reading all day. It's not okay. This is far beyond just keeping up with current events. You're hurting yourself. 
babe, I understand. There's a lot of shitty things happening in the world. A lot of scary things, but that doesn't mean we have to give in to the hysteria. There are lots of good things happening all around us. They just don't get reported as much because, like I said, it doesn't get as many views. I, I don't want to hear any more arguments. Please, just... Let's just take a moment to breathe, okay? How are you feeling? Well, at least you're not caught up in that spiral anymore. Now, can I say my piece? What you were doing today wasn't healthy. You were doom scrolling and I'm worried because that's digital self-harm. Yes, it is. When you look at negative things online that make you feel bad, but you keep reading anyways, you're harming yourself. I mean, sure, it may not be physical pain, but it's still pain. And just like physical self-harm, it can feel like a solution. Sometimes reading about these negative things gives us a sense of control, but I promise you, it does more harm than good. The internet is full of pits of negativity like the one you were just in. And if you're not careful, you can get trapped very easily. All it takes is one news story that makes you angry or one video that terrifies you and bam, you're in. Besides, you did more than just read the news. You went to the comments. You went to social media. You even went to a forum called... Actually, what was it called again? Hmm. That name is raising all sorts of red flags. Uh, let me look it up. Hmm? What the... No wonder you were panicking so much, babe. This place is bad for you. Hun, just by reading the post titles, I can tell how bad this place is. We're all doomed. Our children have no future. The world is practically ending. I mean, seriously. Communities like this is how people get radicalized. I'm serious. I watched a documentary the other day about cult leaders. One of the tactics that they use is making their targets feel like the entire world is against them. They share negative stories, true or false, and paint the entire world using those brushes. The cults literally scare or anger their targets away from reality so they can mold their new worldview. That makes the targets feel like they can't trust anybody but the cult, and of course, once you're in the cult's pockets, your morals start to get warped. I'm not saying that these random strangers are literally in a cult, but the same principle applies. Even if accidentally they're indoctrinating people. Please never go to this forum again. It scares me. Babe, if the communities you're associating with only talk about doom and gloom and nothing else, they're wrong. Full stop. Of course I'm not saying you can't feel negative emotions. When news like that pops up, you should have a negative reaction, but at the same time, you can't let your feelings control you. You can't use that negativity as an excuse to keep scrolling when you know you already feel awful. Despite how it may seem, there are good things happening all around us. Sure, they might not make it on the news, but they still happen, and if you keep giving in to this doomsday mindset, you won't be able to see them. I'm worried, honey. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about the kinds of sites you're visiting and how they're affecting you mentally. Hey, 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 shh, 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 shh. Oh, please don't cry. I'm not mad at you. I know it can be easy to get stuck in the negativity. Come here. Let me give you a hug. I love you, babe. I know you never would have acted like you did if you were in your right mind. Hey, I'm still here. We're a team, remember? I'm not giving up on you that easily. I love you too. Now then, I think it might be a good idea to stay away from your phone for a while. Maybe spend some time in the real world.
Well, we still have this dinner date to get through. And maybe on the way home we can take a walk. And maybe get some fresh air. Ooh, I know a fantastic documentary about puppies we can watch when we get home. I think that sounds great too. You need some time to come back to reality. <laughs> Ugh, I hope it doesn't take much longer in the kitchen. I am starving. Oh, speak of the devil. I think that's our food right there. Babe, thank you for listening to me. We'll work together to make sure something like this doesn't happen again. I promise. I love you too. Now, let's eat. <laughs>